It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. Last week, a story raced around social media about how a study found poop bacteria on McDonald's kiosk touchscreens all over London and Birmingham. And it raised the expected level of panic among people who get their news purely from headlines spread around social media. By now, though, you should know that the story was greatly exaggerated, or at least it mischaracterized the research. Yes, there's bacteria on those touchscreens, and some of it is the same kind as you'll find in poop. You know where you'll, you'll find poop bacteria everywhere? Doorknobs, counters, shopping carts, bus seats, your own mouth and hands and organs. And you know what the danger is to you? Practically none, unless your immune system is severely compromised. But when a tabloid in London got a hold of the original study, they left all of that part out because you wouldn't read the story if it had a happy ending. So they played up the poop. And now the researcher who did the study, Paul Matawele, a senior lecturer at London Metropolitan University, wants to set the record straight. His research staff did find 10 types of bacteria on the screens, three of which are totally harmless, and seven of which could be a problem if your immune system is compromised, but generally aren't a big concern. They're just something to be looked at, and maybe McDonald's can clean the screens more often and put everyone's mind to rest. Or you can bring your own Clorox wipes and Purell. It's probably wholly unnecessary, but whatever helps you get through your Happy Meal. More food for thought tomorrow. For now, that's enough.